Okay, so today we've come to a really naughty one, so uh, please forgive me if this is a little rushed. We've already done the photos, I'm now going to film pretty damn quick, because uh, we need to get the hell out. Um, we'll start, and I'll, I'll explain as we go around, but let's start, shall we? So, this, this, what, this is the uh, centre bastion tunnels of a small fort, which they begun to build in 19, uh, 1808, I believe. <coughs> And before the place was even finished, the uh, military tacticians of the time declared its design as inferior. Uh, so it had a very long history of uh, being changed around in its purpose. So it was originally a fort to defend against the attack up the river. But, oh yeah, check this out. Uh, look at this. Look at that. We'll go down there in a second though. So, uh, Ooh. So, yeah, originally a fort. It was then repurposed as a military prison and, uh, and an insane asylum for the military as well. Uh, now, although I'm not really a ghost hunt person, it's not really my thing, I know a lot of people are, and uh, this one should interest you, there are a lot of documented cases of mysterious death, uh, which I'll tell you in a second, because look at this, the original woodwork and a little, little door up top and some kind of original jug and there is lots in here unfortunately as i say this is a very dodgy one to be in we'll go down here in a minute the original wooden frame as well we're going to the main chamber uh, but yeah there was a one report um, from a coroner basically one of the soldiers borrowed some money um, couldn't pay it back and was so ashamed of what might happen if he was found out that he put his rifle under his chin and uh, took his own life. The coroner's report um, mentions that they were picking teeth up. There was another report about a man who was found dead on the steps of the fort. Um, half naked and uh, died under mysterious circumstances so it was treated as a murder um, and obviously you've got the fact of you know mental asylums uh, of the time uh, their treatment of people wasn't particularly brilliant so it would be safe to say that some people died of some pretty horrific circumstances uh, now as I say we have looked around this bit already so I've kind of got an idea of the nice bits to show you. This bit's completely bricked. Um, and as I say, this will have to be a short trip because, uh, well, I'll be honest, the risk of us getting caught and arrested is far higher on this one than pretty much any of the ones we've done before. So I want to get, we've already been down here for about half an hour, 40 minutes taking photos. And in my mind, that's a little too long. So I need to, oh yeah, look, original iron gate. So this would have originally led to the outside because here we've got firing slits to attack people coming in if they broke in that way. But uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Says so, uh, so oh wow. Oh, so they could have opened and closed it from in there. So that's where they would have opened and closed the gate from. Hold on, let me squeeze past this a bit tight. They more fire slits to attack the enemy if they broke through. Uh, again, sorry if this is a rush one, but we really don't want to hang around on this one. Uh, and there we go, these are the steps leading up that would have gone to the outside of the fort or the dry moat. I'll quickly show you, there's a, there's a small room here to your right hand side, which is just a short spiral stairs going up into this small room with a little fireplace there they've backfilled to try and bury the place. It's a real shame they buried this one because this fort actually has uh, two or three sets of tunnels. The other set of tunnels that is now no longer accessible and fully illegal to enter for those of you who know what this place is. Um, yeah, I used to go in there as a kid. It's a real shame we can't show you that one. It has a really nice long tunnel in it. Uh, let's keep going. Ah, oh, Buzz is back. He was keeping, yeah, keeping an eye out. Stuck. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> I'll keep going back through to the main parts now. 
<coughs> but yeah, you can see some of it just exposed. What if that is That's a boring hole, a gun? No, let's get it. I don't know what that is. It's got little marks in it. It looks like a drill. Look, there's the little drill marks. Maybe they're just testing a new bit of kit or something. I haven't kept my eye out for within them. Yeah. What's that? No, uh, no, yeah, I've been just been down there, yeah. I've only seen one. Problem with trying to find graffiti in this place is we're so pushed for time. I mean, they've got the thing is, there must have been something down there. Because look, <gasps> there would have been a lower level which has now been backfilled because that could be. F I don't know. Pile basement? I, no, yeah, I'll, I'll beep that name out, shall I? <laughs> 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 yeah, because you've got these stairs here. I'll go down because there are a few old bits down here that might be original from the, oh, from the time. Uh, old tubs. A buggy? Yeah, no, that's that's one of them old uh, them things that old women uh, used oh, to put their bags on. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately this place is this bit's been so filled in. And there's something there, a piece of ironwork that would have done something, but I can't tell what it would have been. Maybe I, d I honestly don't know. If we had more time in here. Maybe we could investigate, but the truth is we don't. So did I? I can't remember whether I walked. That's the um, mold. Oh, this yeah, is the mold super room. mold room. Yeah. yeah. Hold your nose. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all this mold. Yeah, I think I did come through this way, but uh, yeah. If we just look at this, this is excellent. Yeah, that's not old enough though. It's brilliant. A whole bit of piping as well, but. Doesn't look old enough. This is a great place though, yeah, look at all the mould down here. Is it even that is proper mould. Right. Yeah, so the, all this well, all this wood here, it's so rotted away, see. would have been the floor. So oh, we'd have so had two floors. So this bit would have been the same. <coughs> so it would have been cutting half that floor. Yeah, so here. you can see there where the beams would have, support beams to the floor would have gone, but and that's one of the main beams. You can see all the nails in it where they put the floorboards on it. That is you probably yeah. That is though, that is proper rotten. If you can. But yeah, uh, yeah, there's lots of little fireplaces in this place, absolutely loads yeah. of them. Um, but they will all go up to, yeah, backfill. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So, I mean, yeah, sorry we're out of breath. Sorry it's a bit rushed. We really, we cannot spend long in here. The longer we're in here, the bigger the risk. Is. The bigger the risk we take. So we're going to pack up now. We're going to go to the pub for a celebration of life, I think. Oh yeah. So as always, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.